banana. Oh, I'm so sorry, Cassie. <laughs> oh, Cassie's just napping near my chair. Or not near my chair, on my desk. And <laughs> just saying, banana. Got her all excited. She's all woken up now. Oh, you want a banana? Cassie, you don't have any bananas in here. No. But anyway, hello, hello, everyone! It is I, 8 Bits, your favorite chicken nugget VTuber! How's it going, guys? Ah, oh, sorry for the late start. Honestly, I destroyed my little chicken toesies. Mm-hmm. Dropped a big old carpet machine on them. So I was slightly delayed today, but today we are going to just be doing a more just chatting kind of stream. We are going to be doing a Pokemon tier list. Yes, once again, we've done Gen 1. But not only are we going to be going on to Gen 2 today, we're going to be moving on to Gen 3 as well! Holy crap! It's never been done in any of Pokemon tier list history! Doing more than one generation of Pokemon! Holy shit! I am breaking new ground! This chicken nugget's going to the moon! <gasps> There's no air in space, so I had to come back down. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Yep, because chicken nuggets need air to breathe. You think air would make chicken nuggets get more and more stale and moldy, but you know what? We need oxygen too. We've come from trees. Trees come from the planet. And we have come from the planet. Therefore, I am Groot. I have no idea what I'm fucking say. I'm also stalling because I don't have any of the tier lists up yet, so I'm still getting that uh, all set up. So I'm going to be vanting and raving for about like just like a couple minutes. So please, please bear with this chicken nugget. Oh gosh, I hope you guys are having a good week so far. I mean, we're halfway there. Oh, we're halfway there. Ah! And that's why I don't do karaoke streams. Alright, but we should be able to get a gang started here. But I'm actually very excited to do another tier list stream. It's been a little bit. Because I think the only tier list stream I've done so far is just a Pokemon tier list. Uh... The Digimon one was a more of a <laughs> smash or pass. Therefore, you know, we haven't actually gotten around to it. But, you know, there could be a Digimon tier list thing in the future. Ugh. Had to get my water. Oh, shit. I had to shit for a second. Hang on. Nope. Okay, there it is. All right, all right, all right. Let us move on. Trying to make sure all my postings are in order as well. Ooh, actually gonna have to mute for a second. You know the deal, I gotta blow my non-existent nose. And we're back. All right, all right, all right, all right. You know what? I think we're about ready to get started on the tier list. Okay, all right. Let me just get my body situated. My body is ready to judge all the Pokemons. Also, we're being we're feeling groovy today, baby. That's why we're having the Pokemon Mirror B theme. Pokemon Coliseum, a game that needs to get re-released, Nintendo! Get on it! Alright, alright, uh go. Okay, there we go, we got that situated. Okie dokie. Oh, nope, that's not what I wanted. 
All right, so let's move my body over. And do, 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 do. there we are. We got the tier list up. We're do we're starting off with Gen Two today. Which, looking at this list, there is not many here. <laughs> Like, most of this Pokemon, most of the Pokemon Gen 2 is the alphabet. We got a literal alphabet soup taking up, the like, more than half of this roster. And I'm not putting the whole alphabet soup. I never ate it as a kid. I'm not going to fucking eat it now, okay? We're not, no, no. I'm only going to put one. And we're going to put the B one because that's for 8-bit. But we'll get to that. Oh, no, the music. Oh, yes, the music. Hello, 2D. Are you dissing on my funky jams? Brother, brother, you must embrace Mirror B. That fucking afro. Oh, where the hell did I go? Uh, 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 uh. My body disappeared. Hang on, chat. Uh oh. Uh oh. That this is not a this is not a bit. Um. Uh oh. Hang on. Uh, this is not an 8-bit. Where the hell did my body go? Uh-oh. Um, well, that's... Awkward. Uh, I lost my body. Okay, hang on, chat. Technical difficulties. You know what? Hang on. Hmm. You know what? There might be a way I can fix this. Hang on. Okay, there I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. What the hell happened to me? Okay, that was weird. That was weird. All right. Uh, thank God for the undo button because I literally could not find myself. Story of my life. I'm in my mid-twenties, and I'm still finding myself. Turns around to see 8-bit with a baseball bat for just in the music. Uh, more like, uh, you're gonna see me with a garden hoe and a big old red and white striped top hat because I'm the cat in the hat, baby! Dirty hoe. I'm sorry, baby, I shouldn't have said that to you. Cat! Oh, alright! God, Mike Myers' is cat in the hat is a trip. But here, it's fine, no. We can swap over to some Pokemon Lo-Fi, you know. That way it's a chill atmosphere for when I inevitably piss off many, many people because I am going to be doing all this from the heart. Therefore, it's bound to piss someone off. You got a hoe in your garden? Listen... First, it was the milkshakes bringing all the boys to the yard. And then the garden gnomes just brought all the hoes. You know the gardens from... <laughs> you know the garden gnomes from Gravity Falls? Bitches love them. <laughs> and so do I. Uh, Okie dokie, but you know what? Let's just get started. You know, all right, we're going to we're going to start our Gen 2 list. Okay, so starting off with the Grass Starters. Chikorita. Okay, I'm not going to lie. When it comes to Chikorita, they're cute, yes, but I have no fucking clue what Chikorita is supposed to be. The name sounds like a salad dressing. You know what? 
They're going in the D tier because it's green just like a salad. That whole line, the salad dressing tier. I don't know what this extra little clover is. You know, I'm going to replace that with croutons. Want to know what it is? It's a Caesar salad. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, let's see, let's see here. Cyndaquil, my brother actually had a... <laughs> it's trash, oh. <laughs> I mean, I like salad, so at the very least, it's not complete trash. All right, and let's see. Cyndaquil, oh, I love this little guy. You know, my brother has a, like, Cyndaquil plush growing up that he just loved playing. I had the, um, I think, Elekid one. But the Cyndaquil one was so cute, and he left it for me for a while. But now that he has a child, he actually wants the Cyndaquil back to give to his kid. And because of that, I'm going to put Cyndaquil in the newly labeled hostage tier. Because that is where Cyndaquil is being kept. And you know what? Uh, let's see, let's see. Yeah, well, I'm going to hold Cyndaquil hostage till further notice. Uh, and then, uh, cool lava and Typhlosion. I mean, B tier. I mean, they're boiling over with rage at probably their child being held hostage. So we're just going to leave them there. Let's see. Let's see. All right, moving on. Totodial. Oh, that's such a happy little dino. But he's basically a Digimon. Which automatically makes it an S-tier Pokemon because, you know, Digimon is actually superior than Pokemon. And, you know, all Digi-Evolution, same standing. Nope, Crocodile, Fair Alligator, go there. Okay, Sentret? Well, they're a Sentry. Meaning they're able to burrow underground and also be able to be like a good, you know, be an in-man. Probably could break into a prison pretty easily. And for that, it's probably an A-tier Pokemon. Digimon over Pokemon agreed 2D. Um, fuck. Furfit. Listen. He's a happy little guy. He has a very nice theme song. He goes on a lot of walks, which kind of makes me feel, you know, bad about myself because I don't walk a whole lot. So, you know, we're going to put them in D tier. Now, Hoot Hoot, you put two of them together, you get you get Hooters, you know, so we're going to put that in double D tier. You know, so we're going to we're going to make double D tier and we're gonna add that a row below okay and we're gonna put oh wait shit oh god I fucked it up I fucked it up you know what this is double D tier now okay okay Okay, Noct Owl is nocturnal, and I personally relate to that. It's an owl. I'm an owl. We both can satanically move our heads back in a full complete 360. Therefore, C or no S for satanic. Noct Owl goes in satanic. Ladybug. I fucking love Ladybug, but it's also a ladybug, right? It is small. It's harmless. It can't do no wrong. So for that, I'm going to hold it hostage because I want to hoard all the ladybugs in the world. And this is just another ladybug, so it's not even worth really mentioning. Spinark is a spider. It has a very, very neutral looking face, which makes me feel like it's a very neutral Pokemon. It will not take a political stance to save its life. Therefore, it is just an average citizen of a sea. However, it's angry, angrier evolution kind of reminds me of a Karen. Karen is close to C, therefore it is also a C tier. Crobat carried me in my Pokemon and Diamond and Pearl run, which makes me a bit biased, but who cares? It is my tier list. So Crobat is an S tier Pokemon. I honestly forgotten what the hell this Pokemon name is. Therefore, it is an S tier because I don't know anything else about it. Same with its other evolution. Pichu. 
Honestly, I love Pichu. The Pokemon animated shorts with the Pichu Bros is my favorite thing. Smacking its ass in mockery of a Houndoom. Honestly, who doesn't want to just, you know, fuck over the police like that? And Pichu looks like he would do war crimes. Therefore, Pichu, a solid A tier Pokemon. Cleffa. Now, Cleffa reminds me of a Cliff Bar. Is it just because of the name? Yes. Is it because I'm a fat ass? Also, yes. C tier. Igglypuff. Not quite as jiggly as Jigglypuff, so I gotta rank it a bit down. I gotta rank it a little bit down. It's not as jiggly, it's not as jolly. Therefore, Igglypuff is a double D tier. Oh wait, no, 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 that doesn't make any sense. It's not as jiggly as Jigglypuff. Okay, um... Not jiggly enough tier. There we go. Togepi is literally an egg, and the fact that it is broken makes me realize that I can make scrambled eggs out of it. Therefore, it is an S-tier Pokemon. Togekiss literally is eggs over easy which has a cute design and i will put in s tier not fat nuggy thick is what we call it i'm dummy thick thank you 2d not to that is a is it is this another bird oh no i mean it's a fucking bird i get it but is this supposed to be like another owl is it? I do not know. And what does not, what I don't know terrifies me as a very small chicken nugget. But you know what? It is green. I like the color green. It goes in double D tier. Um, it's, it's evolution strikes me as someone who would do a rain dance because it wants only rainy weather so it can cozy up with a nice book in its tree. Therefore, I for B, for B tier, for book. How do I see an owl in that? It Well, I don't know what fucking bird it is. I I, I genuinely don't know what that is supposed to. Is it just like a regular regular pigeon? I mean, okay, hang on, hang on. I'm just moving no Noctowl still S tier. This is these look very similar to me. Like, look at their feet. I I don't know. It it looks like an owl to me. Maybe I'm blind. I don't have my glasses yet. Not in this model. Mareep is a literal sheep. It goes with the herd. Therefore, it doesn't have a mind of its own. So for that, it's just another average citizen. Um, this, however, is pink, and I like the color pink. And therefore, so does Kitty. And because Kitty would probably like this Pokemon, I'm going to also put it in hostage tier because she's not allowed to have it. Excited for your opinions on Umbreon will determine if you get a 20-piece McNuggets tomorrow or not. Oh, if you get one. Wow. You're threatening my family over Pokemon opinion. That's exactly what I wanted this tier list to bring out of people. All right. Oh, God. I am so sorry. I don't know how to fucking say this Pokemon's name. I have forgotten. I am terrible. Like, Gen 1, I can name almost every Pokemon. Like, Gen 2, I didn't spend that much time with because I never played Heart Gold, so Silver. Um, this one, Ariafados Arfendophian. Um, this literally looks like Pikachu to me. It looks like a tall it looks like Pikachu grew up, lost a lot of weight and decided to be a gymnast. Therefore, we are going to make a Pikachu tier. Damn it. Add a row below. Okay. Pikachu tier. Amphro Amphro Ampharos, Ampharos, Ampharos is Pikachu. And Amp and this is Aunt Pikachu with cotton candy hair. Blossom is a hula dancer, and I freaking love dancers. So that's why she's going in double D tier, because she dances in hip sways 
like a double D tiered Pokemon. Meryl is just blue Pikachu. Same with Azumarill. Sudowoodo is a tree. Trees speak only few words as example of Groot from Marvel, so therefore Sudowoodo is a pretty A tier Pokemon. Uh, Poly, no, it's, it's Lily Toad? Is this Pokemon Lily Toad? Hang on, I can figure this out. Green Frog Pokemon. Politoed, there we go, there we go. It's Politoed, I actually like Politoed. I have a bias towards frogs. I was grown, I grown up with a lot of frogs. Therefore, Politoed is B for biased. Hopip, I once watched that Pokemon episode where all the Hopips were basically being Hopips and I thought that was cute. Therefore, Hopip is in the A tier. It's a very cute Pokemon. I honestly think Hopip uh, evolving loses some of its luster. Um, this is just a flower with a uh, heartless hiding behind it. Therefore, it is going in the C tier because it's a C tier looking heartless. This this puff ball right here reminds me of allergies, which you think would connect it to A tier, but actually, I hate having allergies. So you know, it is going in the not jiggly enough tier. Ambipom is a purple monkey. I love monkeys. They fling feces at each other. And this monkey has literally a hand for a tail. Imagine the versatility you would have if you had an extra hand on your butt. Therefore, he's definitely a A tier Pokemon. This is literally a seed. I'm going to plant it in the not jiggly enough tier. Sunflora though, I love this Pokemon, it's always got a smile on its face, and then I saw what happens in Undertale and I no longer trust it, therefore I am going to hold it hostage before it holds the world hostage. Wooper, honestly probably here, uh, honestly probably tired of the Wooper D's nuts jokes, if we're just gonna be real. Like he's smiling on the outside, but internally Wooper wants to destroy your pooper. Therefore, he's going in A tier for anarchy. And Quagsire, that's just a dumb smiling himbo. I stand dumb smiling himbos. So you know, he's going in S tier because he is perfect in every way. Espeon. Honestly, I've been a big fan of Espers my whole life. I like the idea of psychics a lot, and it's just a psychic cat. However, I feel like having a psychic cat like Pokemon would mean that literally all, everything spherical in the world, like balls of yarn, would just mean that it would be in its grasp. Literally, there'd be dead birds everywhere because its psychic abilities would be able to drag its prey to everywhere else. Therefore, it is a S tier Pokemon. Also because I remember it in Pokemon Coliseum. Ombreon is the Batman of Eevee Evolutions. He's the goth with the attitude. I can relate to that. If you can look at me, you can s my appearance screams goth. You know, I relate to that. And I think Ombreon, you know, might have leaned a little too heavy in the black and yellow, black and yellow song, but you know what? Who hasn't these days? We all make mistakes. And Ombreon probably makes a lot of mistakes with anarchists. Therefore, Ombreon is an A tier Pokemon. Murkrow. Crows like shiny things. What else is shiny? Ombreon. Therefore, it is an A tier Pokemon. Slowking. Is a king. He's the king of the slow Pokemon. Therefore, honestly, I remember how he acts in the Pokemon 2000 movie. He's one of the only Pokemon that speaks to Ash, and you know, that really speaks to me as a child, at least back then. Therefore, Slow King goes into the I'm holding him hostage tier because I'm going to basically keep him there. That way he can speak and make me a lot of money. Mischievous is such a mischievous little ghost. It's got little purple tendrils on its head. I fucking love this Pokemon. 
However, I wasn't able to get him in the last game that I was in, therefore, it's in the C tier, because I'm upset I couldn't get him in the last game. Now, the unknown tier, okay? We gotta make another tier. We gotta make another tier list for this one, because I, goddamn, they're not a Pikachu, and I'm not holding the unknown hostage, okay? We're gonna put them, like I said, in the alphabet soup tier. Okay, and let's see. We're gonna rate this by the letters that I think are the best. We're gonna put N O P E for nope. Because nope, I will not rate all the alphabet soup. Nope, I will not have it, Sim I am. I will not have it in my Pokemon tier list. Nope. You know what? Actually, you're right. Nope might be too harsh. Okay, you know what? You know what? Maybe let's let's just put it back. Let's let's just put them back. Let's just put them back. Okay, you know what? We're gonna actually put L O S. Cause at the alphabet and where's R? Is this R? Cause it's the loser tier. Okay, Wah Buffett! Honestly, one of the best comic reliefs of the Pokemon anime. I cannot get enough of this guy. He literally is the most dopiest bastard there is, and yet he causes so much more chaos to Team Rocket than Team Rocket could ever do to another person. And honestly, it's kind of a mascot Pokemon. Therefore, it teeters into the Pikachu tier, and it teeters into not almost teeters in the hostage tier, but he holds people hostage himself. Therefore, I respect that. He's a very B tier Pokemon. Giraffarang is a literal giraffe. Now, giraffes remind me of the giraffe from Madagascar, the Melvin one. Is the name Melvin? Either way, I remember it reminds me of the giraffe from Madagascar, and I fucking hate that giraffe from Madagascar. Therefore, he is in the uh, not jiggly enough tier. You know what? No, I'm gonna hold that. No, I'm gonna hold him hostage until the creators of Madagascar apologize for naming that giraffe what they named him. Remember that episode where James has a gun? Remember that episode James has boobs? Fantastic episode. Beautiful episode. I want to rewatch it again. Pinecone. I don't know if that's its actual name, but it literally is a pinecone. And growing up, I used to throw pine cones. So I'm going to throw it in the C tier tier for the memories. Fortress is honestly, I would like Fortress more if it was as big as a castle or big as a fortress because it's just a little circular thing with guns attached to it it's cute but not jiggly enough for me remember when james said that women belong in the dark age? oh my god i remember that freaking pokemon episode yeah the based ash and james meme that oh my god i can't believe they actually got away with that dunsparce is literally a dunce therefore in double d tier Flygar is another creepy little bat. And by creepy, I mean creepily cool bat, and I have a thing for bats. I've, you could say I like the Batman. I guess that makes sense. Steelix, I thought, was one of the coolest Pokemon in the world when I was a kid. It is just a bigger, steelier version of Onyx. However, growing up, I realized that I cannot fit Steelix inside of me, therefore he is just in a C tier spot for me. Mega Steelix is literally just a Gundam version, and that's a little better. Re Rouge the bat though, wait, what's a bat? Uh, Steelix, that's who I was talking about. Steelix is a bat. Snubble, Honestly, I love this cute Pokemon, and 
I mean, I like this cute Pokemon. I don't really have much of a relationship with it until that more recent Pokemon movie where literally a Snubble dies in a fire. And that kind of makes me feel like I have more of a special connection to it. Therefore, I'm going to hold it hostage. That way, it doesn't ever have to suffer again. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> okay, I'm messing with you, 2D. Um, I was saying this one. Gligar is the bat. Also, hello. Also, hello, Chance. How you doing, my friend? Are you playing a fantastic Wednesday? Poor Mischievous. Listen, I love Mischievous, and I would love to rank Mischievous higher. However, I couldn't get them in the more recent Pokemon games that I've gotten. You've been lurking? Excellent. Have you been enjoying my picks so far? Because I've been enjoying them. Oh god, this is just a bulldog that learned how to walk. And honestly, if that's the case, it makes me feel like it can talk like Brian Griffin. And while that does lead to an exciting possibility, that also means Seth MacFarlane might be talking to me. Therefore, that scares me. And I'm going to put him in the hostage tier because I'm going to make them stop making Family Guy. Mistress is putting it slightly, is pushing it slightly. Oh, I'm sorry, but I'm also not sorry. Pufferfish. Now, this Pokemon right here reminds me of when Homer almost died from eating Fungu. Fungu? Fugu. Fugu? Fugu. Sorry, I don't know how to say the name. It's also been a long time since I heard it. And therefore, that brings me a happy memory of Homer Simpson almost dying. Therefore, this is a S-tier Pokemon for the childhood memories. I love Homer Simpson, I didn't want him to die, but that was still a good episode. That's what I mean by S-tier memory. Caesar! I freaking love Caesar. It is honestly one of the most badass Pokemon there is. However, my mom, when a little, um, Lucy Goosey, accidentally slurred her words, kept calling Scissors, Skeezors, and it's kind of tainted the name for me. So... I can't put it in an S tier, even though I want to. It Unfortunately, it gives me B memories. So, B tier Pokemon. Even though, honestly, it deserves better. And honestly, this looks like Deoxys to me. And therefore, makes me angry. So, we're gonna just put it in the not jiggly enough tier. Shuckle is literally the best Pokemon in the world. You can take one look at this Pokemon and just be like, Ah, shucks! This Pokemon is amazing and is one of the best Pokemon stats-wise. So Shuckle is an S-tier Pokemon, especially because my sister-in-law always seems to beat my brother's ass with a Shuckle. Therefore, it's an S-tier Pokemon to me. Make a Shuckle tier? You know what? You you are absolutely right. Shuckle deserves his own tier. Shuckle tier. And we're going to make it... going to make it pink. Oh, damn it. S... Tier. I hate tier maker sometimes. Okay. A god does not stand amongst peasants. That is true. Shuckle is a god for bringing, making my brother feel chaos. Therefore, Shuckle is in that tier. Heracross is a beetle. I actually like beetles. However, it always wants to eat Bulbasaur's ass, and while I can understand the desire of wanting a fresh, nice old booty to munch on in the morning, it is a little weird that he wants to eat my Bulba boy. Therefore, I am going to put him in the not jiggly enough tier. What the hell is this? <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually seen its mega evolution, so this is not a bit. I genuinely don't know what the hell this is. Um, it. <laughs> this is a fucking Digimon. I don't care what you say. This is a fucking Digimon. Hang on. All right. All right. 
Ugh. Well, now I gotta put it in an S tier because it's a digit. Damn it! Damn my own moral values. Most Mega Evolutions are wasted on Pokemon who didn't need them. Might be that's fair. Okay, what the fuck you doing to Heracross? Heracross is not jiggling. Heracross literally tries to eat Bulbasaur's ass in the anime, and that I just don't jiggy with that, Tootie. I just don't. Okay, I'm sorry. Blame the Pokemon anime. That's your boy. Well, tell your boy to stop just eating Bulbasaur's ass. Yeah, based. Listen, if Bulbasaur was Venusaur, then, you know, maybe I'd be more okay with it. But Bulbasaur is innocent. God. Sneasel. Reminds me of how much of a clever weasel I can be when trying to stifle a sneeze. Sneasel? S tier. Bulbasaur is lettuce. Heracross is a beetle. So, by that logic, because you're a human who likes chicken nuggets, you should eat meat, 2D? Is that what you're going to say? Is that the natural order of things? Are you going to make that argument to me, a chicken nugget that is literally food? Checkmate. Yeah? It's also bullshit that Charizard and Mewtwo get two evolution and evolution flygons raw. That is true. I agree with that. Honestly, Charizard is bullshit. And I, I, honestly, Charizard and Mewtwo only needed one. 2D. I love and respect you, man. I was actually going to say eat me, but I don't want you to eat me. Because they couldn't think of one? Really? Aw. You're two miles away from my location approaching rapidly? You don't know my McNugget box. Start running. Psh! I'll lay some saucy traps down for you, brother. Alright, alright, I got distracted. We're we're gonna we're gonna move on a bit. I got I got sidetracked. Okay. Teddy Ursa! You know, it's a literal bear. Cute, I guess, but really nothing special. Doesn't coke and surf like other bears I know. So, you know, I'm just gonna put him, it's a C-tier bear. Mm. However, the big ass bear reminds me of the three bear story and how they probably murdered that girl that's stole into their house or that's broken in their house and stole all their food therefore that's an a tier bear i actually know a b for bear did you like that art from earlier oh uh, yeah i liked it yeah yeah i did yeah yeah I, I yeah i was trying to remember what you were talking about yeah i do that was a good one do 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 slugma Slugma balls! <sighs> B tier. Macargo! Macargo these nuts! <sighs> D tier. I. Fuck, I really don't remember what this one is. Um. It reminds me of the pigs from Wind Waker with how it looks. And honestly, those bring me such joy and kind of makes me want bacon. So it's a B-tier Pokemon. This, however, reminds me of Manny from Ice Age. And that reminds me of Ray Romano. And Ray Romano did some pretty good acting back in the day. And honestly, I loved Ice Age. So, you know, he's pretty cool. C-tier. Corsola. Honestly, Corsola is a... I like Corsola in the anime... Don't have strong feelings about it otherwise, and however, I do have strong feelings about it being literally dead, and that's a sign, that's a metaphor for how we treat the environment these days, and honestly, it's a pretty good lesson that, you know, the coral reef is dying, we need to take better care of this world. However, I don't want politics in my Pokemon game, 
so I'm gonna just put it in the not jiggly enough tier. Remoraid is honestly better when it's part of the manatee, which... Oh, there it is. There's Mantine right there. Therefore, it is two halves to a good Pokemon. So, honestly, two Cs combined together can make a solid A Pokemon. And you know what, actually? That means I'm putting them in the Ace tier. Also, hang on. I gotta sneeze. Okay, Octillery is a squid. I enjoy the game Splatoon, and the Octolings are the superior choice in Splatoon 2. And be therefore, Octillery, I, I know how to speak, is an A tier Pokemon. Deli Bird, Santa! Oh my God, Santa! Oh, S tier, S tier for Santa. You know, actually, you know what? No, Deli Bird gets his own tier. Damn it. Okay, okay, okay. Yenzel Cal, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a fantastic Wednesday. Okay. Santa goes in that tier. You know, let's make it let's make it green. There we go. Yeah, Santa, there we go. All right. Okay, let's see. Moving on past Santa. Did I already do Skarmory? No, did I not? Okay. Okay. Skarmory reminds me of how the Joker says, do you know, want to know how I got these scars? And honestly, he looks like someone who probably scarred up the Joker pretty badly. And honestly, I can respect that, except I like the Joker. But, um... You know, it is also... Uh, I can't even make a joke out of that, honestly. Skarmory is S tier. I really like that metal bird. Aww, and Houndoor and Houndoom, literally, them release the hounds. They work for Montgomery, Montgomery Burns, which automatically makes them a S tier Pokemon because they are just good puppers doing their job and killing and destroying the poor that Montgomery Burns sends them on. Mega Houndoom, I have never seen before until now. What did they do to my boy? Skarmory lore, people in old times made swords out of its feathers. Okay, well that definitely, that justifies S tier. What the hell? He literally looks like he's from hell now. Actually, that's probably, he's more of a hellhound now. Oh, you know what? Hellhound is pretty fucking badass. S tier. Also reminds me of the VTuber Spite. Hellhounds are S tier. Kingler? <laughs> no, fuck. Kingler's a crab. God damn it. Um, what the fuck? Sea, sea King? Oh my god. What is this Pokemon's name? Um, fuck. Okay, I actually gotta look that up because that's bad. That's clearly not a crab. It's a seahorse. Seahorse Pokemon. Because it goes horsey, Sea King. Wait, no, Sea King's also wrong. Wait, King, it is Kingdra. No, Kingler is the King. God damn it, I'm stupid. Ugh, Seedramon. Yeah, basically a Digimon. Okay, well. Uh, honestly, it's kind of misleading. I would honestly like to ride a horse in my time. 
And however, I can't because it's an underwater horse and I would die. And I think that's kind of unfair. So, you know, it's getting put in the in the D tier. However, actually, you know, I'm going to make a quick fix real quick. So this is meant to be the D tier. I'm going to actually fix this. Because honestly, it's not it's not sitting right that Hoot Hoot is with the other Ds when he is a double T. Addy row below. Thank you. There we go. Honestly, oh god, I need to add the colors on these. Come on. Also, let's edit the color on alphabet soup. Oh God. Uh, there we go. That fixes that. There we go. This looks a little bit more colorful. Okay, moving on, moving on, moving on. Uh, fan P! Oh, I'm a fan of this little armadillo. Oh, such a cute little blue nose. Honestly, I love elephants, and I love elephant ears from the zoo. Therefore, S tier Pokemon. And I know I said armadillo, but honestly, it reminds me more of an armadillo mon, which reminds me of Digimon. So therefore, S tier. Porygon 2 literally protects our internet while we look at the special adult websites that our parents told us never to go to when we were younger. However, antivirus software exists, therefore we never put our parents' computer at harm, except when we went on LimeWire. Therefore, Porygon 2, for the very extra Pory kind of stuff that we used to embrace on internet culture, is in double D tier. And I think that goes without explanation why. Stantler is literally Santa's reindeer, which means Santa is coming to town. Santa! God bless us all. Merry Christmas. Stantler. Smeargle is an artist. Artists are what is the backbone of the VTubing community. And honestly, there's something special about getting your first fan art and it's being signed by the VTubers literal tale. So therefore is a pretty S tier Pokemon. I literally don't know what this Pokemon's name is. It reminds me of Rock Lee. It's not hip enough for me. It's not, it doesn't it doesn't jiggly enough for me. Hit him on top, however, that's a top right there. He's pretty fucking hip. So we're gonna put him in an A tier. Smoochum is cute and innocent. It's kind of like Miley Cyrus before it goes off and spirals off into some of its adult phase of life and makes some mistakes with Jinx. So honestly, I'm putting it in the hostage tier. That way it doesn't ruin its life in the future. Oh, jeez. I forgot how tiring tier lists are. And we're not even done yet. Okay, all right. Ella Kid honestly has Kid in the name, but he looks like he can plug into a wall socket. It's best not to fuck with him. Kids don't play with him. We're gonna, um... We're gonna put him in the bad to fuck with him tier. We're gonna put that in the hostage because we're gonna put him in the cabinet. Actually. Okay. You know what? No, 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 no. Add a row below. Don't play with him tier. Oh, damn it. There we 
we go. I hate I hate this tier list maker sometimes. Don't play with him. There we go. All right, Ella Kid got their own tier. All right, let's move the not jiggly enough tier. All right, all right, all right. Magpie reminds me of magpies. And honestly, I can use a pie. Therefore, this is gonna go in the Pikachu tier, because honestly, it's another mascot. Milk tank. I need some milk. I had some milk this morning. Milk tank can provide all the milk I could ever want, straight from the source. Not like how Meowth does it, I'm not a fucking weirdo. Unless it was, you know, a monster gal kind of situation, you know, then maybe I consider it. So, Miltank is going in the double D tier for the double entendre. Blissey reminds me of how blissful it can be when things go right in your life. And honestly, that is something that encourages my day to day. And honestly, I need that in my life. Which is why I'm holding it hostage. I won't accept this. Miltank is evil and the devil. Listen. Listen, 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 listen. We all felt Whitney's mill tanks before. Honestly, she just whipped them out and she rolled all over us with them. And you know, it hurt a bit, but in the end, wasn't it kind of satisfying, 2D? I think you know I'm right on this. All right, who let the dogs out? Who, who? Raikou, um, honestly, I have no feelings about him whatsoever. He kind of got shafted in all like the Pokemon media. Like it's always Entei or Suicune. Therefore, Raikou, because of that, um, it's kind of C tier, unfortunately. I'm sorry. I think you're cool, but I mean, I, I'm just, I'm voting with this stuff. Entei is literally Papa. He is literally the father of your dreams. He, he's the father that you can ride. And that's amazing. Therefore, he's an A-tier dad. Suicune, I love Suicune. However, I never finished Pokemon Crystal, which does influence my decision a little bit here. However, it is blue. It has got a purple, nice little hair, and I enjoy that. Sweet corn. Suicune. For design alone, I would honestly put in S tier because that's such a good design. For my personal feelings about it, it is probably also a C tier Pokemon. So, you know, I'm just going to split the difference and put them in the Pikachu tier. Larvitar is literally how I felt as a child, angry at the world that I could not play with my Legos every single day in my life. And honestly, he kind of looks like he belongs in the Lego set. Therefore, uh, don't play with him. This is literally a shield. I don't care what you say, I would use this Pokemon as a shield in battle and not feel about it. Therefore, a S tier Pokemon. Tyranitar, honestly, is a tyrant, he is a madman, and he's a goddamn badass one. S tier. However, this form is literally the most ridiculous looking kaiju I have seen, and I have seen plenty in my day. However, However, I also would like to fuck Godzilla, therefore it goes in S tier. Lugia, honestly, kind of disgusting. I Don't get me wrong, it had a pretty cool epic role in the second Pokemon movie, Pokemon 2000, I'll never forget it. However, his name sounds like a Lugi. I can maybe save it by thinking of Luigi, but honestly, I don't want a Lugi anywhere near me. Therefore, he is in the... Don't play with him tier. Ho-ho, honestly, I can fuck around with some ho-hos, okay? You know, who doesn't like a ho-ho? And also, it was a Pokemon before Gen 2 even existed. Therefore, ho-ho goes in the, in the Pikachu tier. 
bro. Distant Lugia? You gonna catch the Lugia hands? Bro, I'm gonna put a Lugia on you. I spit at you, 2D. Celebi, this is literally cabbage. Do I like cabbage? I don't have strong feelings about cabbage. Is it an onion? Honestly, I pick onions off my burgers. So, you know... I'm not jiggling. It's not jiggly enough for me. I don't, j I don't jig with it. You know what? Fine, fine. For you... For you, 2D, I'll move Lugia, okay? It's not jiggly enough for me. Make you feel better? Okay. All right. You know what? Let's... Hmm. Let's fix this tier. Raw. <laughs> Rawr, XD, I came lurking around. I came to lurk around. Oh, I appreciate it, Loyal Taco. Hope you enjoy your lurking. You know what? Let's, let's fix this. S tier Digimon. There we go. All right. Well, you know, I honestly think this is not a bad tier list. Santa, Shuckle, Esther, Digimon, A, B, C, D, Double D, Pikachu, Hostage, Not Jiggly Enough, Don't Play With Him, Alphabet Soup tier. Oh, man. You know what? Uh, so, you know, we got through Gen 2 within an hour. Wow. That was actually kind of fast. Well, okay. To be fair, there also isn't that many Gen 2 Pokemon. Now, is there a way I'd like to fix this? Honestly, no. Because does my opinion really matter about these Pokemon? Yes, it does. However, I also don't care really about their placements. Honestly, the number one Pokemon here is Delibird because literally it's Santa. Therefore, the rest of them are just gifts given to us. They're just added bonuses. You know, because we go from Santa to Alphabet Soup. Which Alphabet Soup is not a gift from Santa. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Lasagna Soup. That's a gift from Santa. You know what? Bet. Bet, 2D. You know what? Bet. If you can live with yourself and still look at yourself in the mirror after you eat chicken nuggets, I don't think you can do it. I think there's too human... I think you're too human to do that. To commit act of violence like this, 2D. The heck is this tier list? This is the peak 100% definitive Gen 2 Pokemon list. Bats, that's what this is. And you know what? You should be happy. There's some bats in S tier. You would go in S tier, Bats42. Hope you're having a fantastic Wednesday. Mm. Although, honestly, Slugma should probably be in S tier because Slugma, Slugma Nuts jokes are just fucking hilarious. What is that emote? <laughs> That's cute. I can already not look in the mirror. I'm unhinged. There are no strings for me. And I'm unhinged too. This is this is my Joker arc. This is what I'm doing now. You've all driven me to this. You've all driven me to make Slugma Nuts jokes. And now we are here. Buckle up, buckaroo. Unhinge your mouth. Uh, fuck. My mouth can't go as big with this model. Just wait until August. My mouth will get as big as you can see. Unhinge your mouth and slug my nuts. Okay. All right. Well, we're done with this tier list. So, you know what? Hang on. I'm going to put up my just chatting background for a second because I don't want to accidentally show anything. So, I'm going to save it and post this to Twitter. And then we're going to move on to Gen 3. Desktop Gen to list. Okay. Now let's see here. Wait, it's my okay. 
But while we wait while I do this, I got a question for anyone still in chat. What's your favorite Gen 2 Pokemon? Anyone in particular favorite? Because, I mean, honestly, Gen 2 is one of the ones that I didn't have that much of an opinion on because I didn't play it that much growing up. And I unfortunately never had Heart Gold or Soul Silver. So, I mean, I never got a chance to really form much more of an opinion on that either. I still want to play those games eventually. I just don't know when. Heracross, really? I mean, it's got a good design. I'll give you that. I do love me Totodile, though. Okay. Let's see here. Desktop. Actually, here, this will make this easier. I asked Andrew Mon, Nuggie's wife, she's disappointed by the Lugia placement. Hey, 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 hey. My wife is Rosemon. Check yourself, 2D. Get your facts right before you come in here trying to start a war. A critical hit shot death cow for me at least. Oh, wow. Fair enough. Yeah. I mean, uh, I do love me milk tank, though. It's hard for me not to like mommy's milk. Um, shit, where did the fucking list go? Try to post this on Twitter. I gotta do my tweets. Honestly, though, uh, it's hard for, like, it's hard for me not to, like, enjoy, like, Steelix and Skizor. Because uh, those are just so badass designs, honestly. Okay. Let's move this over here. Do, do, do. The definitive Gen 2 list still going with Gen 3. Okay, I misspelled definitive. I suck at spelling. Honestly, if we did a spelling bee stream, I probably would suck a lot. Copy. Okay. All right, we're tweeting out this. Only has one life. You lose in touch, Nuggie. I did. Listen, I have many, I have many waifus, but I mean, like Rosemon is like the ultimate dommy mommy for me in Digimon. Even though there is plenty that I would let me whip or would whip me into submission, I understand that. I just, you know, it is what it is. But anyway, we're gonna move on to Gen 3. I gotta go find a Gen 3 Pokemon tier list, but at least my tweet's out now. Um, all right, so let's find. Gen 3, my favorite Gen Pokemon, the Hoenn region, Alpha Sapphire, and Ruby, or Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, best gen Pokemon, my favorites. We're gonna go, we're gonna do this one. Gen three Pokemon. The tier list that has my favorite Pokemon. Uh, Is there not like, a Gen 3 tier list? All I can say is fuck your owl. <laughs> but they can do satanic movements. Rosemont does whip, but does she nay nay? Watch me whip, whip, watch me nay nay. Also, hello, Drunken McJunkin. How you doing? Hope you're having a fantastic Wednesday. Uh, Pokemon Gen 1 best girls. Uh, I'm not doing that. What the hell is just a straight up... 
Pokemon Gen 3 list. I probably should have sorted this out first. There we go, Gen 3, here we go. Found it! Hey, 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 get your commercials out of here. Get out of here. Okay. S tier. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Uh, so let's F11 this. Oh, nice! Walking the dog! Who let the dogs out? Hoop, hoop. Okay, all right, we're gonna go back. We're gonna go back. All we do is go back, 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 back. All right, let me get my chatting background off. All right, we're back to Gen 3. Oh, actually, hang on. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. <laughs> Fucking the music got a little eerie there. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit because what the hell? Come on now. There we go, this is better. Okay, dokie. Yeah, that, that makes it better to see. Okay. We'll add the tears as we need to. All right, but Gen 3, my favorite gen of Pokemon. I'm so excited for this. All right, let's go. Gen 3 starters. All right, let's go. Okay, Trico. What can I say about him? Honestly, he's a gecko. He'll probably sell me car insurance down the line. Base tier. Same with his family. You know, it's a family business. They're into selling car insurance. Um, except this one. This is honestly... This honestly looks like it belongs in a Christmas tree, which makes it an S-tier Pokemon. Mudkip. There, I like memes, therefore I love Mudkip. Top S-tier friend. Past the Christmas tree, come on. But S also stands for Swamp. Which means stay out of Swampert Swamp, because honestly, he gets freaking jacked. Because he owns all the wetlands, the bigger he gets, which does include your wife. Therefore, Marsh Stomp is just right below A tier. In A tier, below King Daddy Swampert. Now, Torchic, I feel a kinship with him, honestly. I think it's pretty obvious why. We're nugget to nugget. One tiny foot holding up the flames of anguish, fist festering deep inside, ready to burst forth into a blaze of glory! Spicy chicken tear! Tastes the best, and Blaziken is also my JoJo stand! Combuskin's alright, C tier. Mega Blaziken literally has all the secrets to 101 spices in his head. Okay. Poochiana is literally a Poochie. Who doesn't like dogs? However, it wouldn't be right to put him in any other tier other than D. Because honestly, it's a dog. Same with Mighty Anna. He may be mighty, but still at the end of the day, a dog. However, not a trash burglar. And I do love me trash burglars with a zigzagoon. It's a raccoon. Who doesn't love a raccoon? Honestly, they're little mischievous little creatures to get into your trash up to no good. Honestly, they're little burglars always up to no good. And I respect the hell out of that. That's why it's an S tier Pokemon. And same with the literally a metal burglar. Honestly, don't arrest him. Put on a show for him. He deserves his own concert. S tier Pokemon. The best dog is Mango. That is true. But Mango, she is not on this list. Now... I don't know what these are, these evolutions are supposed to be. Are they... They remind me of Anteaters. And I hate ants. Therefore, they are A-tier Pokemon. Except the... the honestly, the gothier looking ones are better versions of that. Wormple is literally a worm. Honestly... Not a super great Pokemon. It's cute, but it's literally just a worm. You know, and you know what happens to worms when they get wet? They mate. And they multiply and they create so many that they're just everywhere. Therefore, Wormple actually is an S tier because it's actually a pretty sexy Pokemon. Cascoon? Actually, both of these, I mean, 
I, I don't know what to say about these. Uh, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make a new one. H tier, the hard, okay, there we go, yep. We're gonna put the shells in the hard tier. All right, we're gonna put them both right there. Beautifly is a beautiful butterfly. I love this Pokemon. It also, it just look at that. Just look at this. Just look at just just just, 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 just just look at what this tongue is doing. Okay, honestly, imagine the possibilities of this beautiful butterfly coming across your path. I've seen insect girls on Twitter. I understand what they are about. Therefore, it's a beautiful B tier Pokemon. Dustox. Honestly, I love moths. And I think they deserve more respect. Therefore, it's also a B tier Pokemon. Lotad. Honestly, super cute lily pad. Honestly, reminds me of the Koi Pond as I a kid. Therefore, it is also in its own tier. Um, shit. It's not a shit tier Pokemon. No, 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 no. I'll show you a shit tier Pokemon later. Add a row above. We're going to make it green. Childhood memory. Okay, Lee Tad there. Lombre also reminds me. Ludoculo reminds me of the best Pokemon trainer in Pokemon Coliseum. So much, in fact, I'm gonna put his theme music back on because fuck you, 2D. Pokemon Coliseum is amazing and he has such a banger theme. Ah, yeah, there we go. Fuck yeah. S tier Pokemon for S tier theme. Dun -dun 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 -dun. <laughs> I'm sorry, 2D, if you're still here. <laughs> C dot. Honestly, seed. I want to always. Ah, fuck. It'd be nuts to plant this seed anywhere else other than D tier. Am I right, folks? Am I right? I'm right. Um. This is literally just the seed growing up, and honestly, it kind of loses its muster because of that. But you know, so it's just in D tier. And Shiftry, I it's 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 a it's a tree. It's a tree. I can't I mean eh, eh, eh. Poor corn. I mean, it it stays the same going in and out of you. So I mean, what what can I say? It's it's just corn, Chance. So let me turn that music down. Sorry, that was a little. It was a little loud in my ear. I hope that wasn't like super loud in your guys' ear. Um, Taylo. Oh no, fuck! I still need to put Shiftry somewhere. Uh. Okay. Um. Add a row below. We're gonna we're gonna put Shiftry in the shift. Cheer because honestly, it's too shifty to be put in the general public. Taylo, I used to love Taylo and Swellow, they were like such good Pokemon, and also, like, it, it was one of the first like bird Pokemon, um, like common bird Pokemon that didn't have like three evolutions, it was just the two. Which I honestly appreciate as a kid. It didn't need to be perfected. What were they gonna do? Give the bird a gun? Honestly, I'm actually, you know what? That would have been pretty cool. Give the bird a gun. S tier. Now, I'm gonna be perfectly honest. I am biased towards Gen 3. I love Gen 3 so much that I probably should be putting most of these in S tier uh, because Gen 3 was the best. However, I'm trying to be even more biased with my personal feelings with these Pokemon, which is why Wingle is a really good dog. Therefore, it's a D-tier Pokemon. Pelipper honestly reminds me of that scene in Finding Nemo where they basically swam around in a big ass bird's mouth to get to the dentist's office. And I don't want to go to the dentist. I am dreading my appointment tomorrow. Therefore, is a childhood memory Pokemon. Okay, now Ralts. Ralts is a 
freaking coward. And I don't tolerate cowardness in my party. No, no. There's no I in team. Unlike Gardevoir, who puts the D in me. There, and the sportsmanship puts them in S tier. Same with their Mega Mommy form. Oh, Curly is cute too, I guess. So I guess that's C tier. I literally have no opinion on Water Spider other than it's cute. Um, I don't think I really ever used it much. However, it skittles around the it skittles around the board, which kind of reminds me of Skitty. And we're gonna get to that pink cat, which wait. No, Skitty. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say, what the hell is Skitty? I was gonna say, yeah, Skitty's Gen 3. Shiftery, okay. Um, honestly, it's kind of. It's, it's, it's alright, Pokemon. C tier. I have no feelings of its evolution. Shroomish, honestly, I did not appreciate much as a kid. As an adult in my life, I just learned to discover the wonders and beautifulness and deliciousness of mushrooms on pizza and burgers. It has opened my eyes that I want to eat this motherfucker. Therefore, he's in, he's an S tier for now, but I'm also gonna make him, I'm, I'm going to make a new tier of I'm going to eat him. Okay. Well, I mean, actually, if I'm going to eat them, honestly, perfectly, I probably should, uh... I probably should put Mama Gardevoir in there. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know, I mean, honestly, like, um... Smash! You know what? Actually, yeah. They may put the D in me, but I'm going to eat them. So, you know what? This, this is... This is a perfect tier. That's a perfect mwah, chef's kiss. Honestly, uh, I'm also going to eat this one. Um... I love Sloss. Honestly, they're so fucking cute. This one is an adorable Pokemon. It's going in the C for cute tier. Vigoroth, honestly, I didn't have much opinion on. It just looks like a more pissed off Sloth. Um, it's not a friendly like the one in Ice Age, therefore it's going in the D tier. Um, Slacking, this motherfucker gave me such a hard time battling when I first played uh, Sapphire. And honestly, I don't appreciate him. So he's going in childhood memory tier. I have literally no opinion. You know what? Actually, you know what? We need a new tier. We need a tier. I'm sorry I'm making so many tiers, but you know, honestly, it's my tier list, so fuck you guys. Please stay. I enjoy your guys' company, but please respect my choices. Um, Let's make another... God. I, I just want, I just want to make a new tier. Okay. Add a row below. Okay. <laughs> Bullied me tier. Therefore, goes in that one. Okay, Cicada, I have no opinion on. Uh, it's it's a nice, it's a decent looking bug, I guess. I mean, it's kind of a D tier Pokemon. I do like Ninjask more. It's a literal ninja. You gotta believe it. You gotta believe in your ninja way. Therefore, um, it's going to go up to a B. Sheninja is literally dead. How badass is that? A walking corpse can fucking cause so much chaos in the Pokemon world. Therefore, it is going into childhood memories because just like that, my childhood memories are dead. Whisper. I, I literally don't have, uh, eh, I mean, I thought it was cute growing up. I don't have much of an opinion on it otherwise. Yeah, it's just putting cute. Now this, oh my god, these guys got mouths. Honestly, these are like, these are like the guys that want to always 
always show off how heavy their bass goes with their speakers. Great at first when you first listen, but gets so fucking annoying when they fucking just play the loud music over and over and over and over. Therefore, they are going in a S tier because while they can be loud mouse, you do appreciate them for what those mouse can do. I actually love I actually love these Pokemon because uh, they basically are sumo wrestlers, and I think that's fucking awesome. So, S for sumo, S tier Pokemon. Uh, let me check my music. Oh gosh. Uh, do, 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 do. It's just gotta restart itself. I was about to say, it almost hit the limit, you know? Unfortunately, it's only a half hour loop. If only there was like a longer, like, eight hour loop of it, that'd be cool. Ugh. Oh, so let's just rename this. S for spicy tier? Okay, dokie. Azumarill is literally a baby. It's a B-tier baby. There's nothing more to say. Nose Pass has such a fucking big ass nose. I don't know if it's aware of that. Honestly, I respect the hell out of it because it reminds me of just, you know, Life's unfair for giving me no nose. I would love a big red nose like this. Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer! Holy shit! That's 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 an amazing tier. Honestly. Oh my god. That's a oh, That reminds me of Christmas. C is for Christmas! Skitty is a cute little cat! Aw, it's a it could be a cute little, little, cute little thing. Honestly, honestly, I, I can't. I can't even make jokes. I just love cats so much, even when they piss on my stuff. Sableye, honestly, I do like the idea. It's it's such a good design. It's a good it's a good purple gemstones, and everyone loved the movie Uncut Gems, you know. So therefore, we're gonna put it in S tier. Also, because it literally comes with money. You could sell this motherfucker for a profit. Honestly, think harder, not smarter. This is just a Venus flytrap, basically, Pokemon, and I think that's pretty badass. But it's also... I think it's also a little bit too big for its britches, but you know what? It's fine. I'm gonna put S tier. Honestly, I do like its more carnivorous form more. This is literally iron. This is what your Minecraft iron bars can create. These are what the iron golems in Minecraft should be. Especially, what the fuck? I haven't seen this mega form. I never really did actually get far in Alpha Sapphire because I didn't play my 3DS much, so this is actually new. What the fuck happened to him? Okay, um, literally iron? You know what? Okay. You know what, let, let, let me actually, let me, let me fix this, okay? Um, Addy row above. Okay. Honestly, the shit, the gemstone, the gemstone Pokemon, those honestly should be in the Minecraft tier. All right, so we're gonna just, you know, honestly. You mine them, you sell them, or combine them, you make a profit. All right, honestly, so let's put the diamonds back. Let's put the rupees back. These are Minecraft. Fuck, not childhood memory. Although Minecraft does give me a lot of childhood memories. Is this in order of consumption? Um, well, okay. Well, let's see. Eating out at a nice fancy restaurant with mushrooms or going back home and eating out at an even fancier, lovelier restaurant. Um... Okay, honestly, I'd eat the D uh, probably the most. I mean, I could get mushrooms on a burger, so you know what? You know what? Now, now it's in a proper order of consumption. Thank you so much, Twinkie. I hope you're having a fantastic 
Wednesday, my friend. Medichan honestly is super thick, and I would eat them. I would eat between those thighs. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, not not meditate though. Meditate is um honestly, I wish I could have meditation. So you know what? C tier. Electrike and Manatrek. I what the fuck happened to Manatrek? Did Manatrek go Super Saiyan 3 for its mega evolution? What the hell? I. Okay, so what? This is. You know what? So what? Is this like Gohan and then Super Saiyan Gohan and then the Dragon Ball Heroes Gohan going Super Saiyan 3? I. Fuck it, childhood memory tier. I I don't even know what to say about that one. Okay, plus all mining, they are literally the Pikachu tier. Okay, you know what? So But they are cute. Okay, you know what? Hmm. Ah I don't I actually don't know what you know what? Nope, nope, nope. I'm saying my conviction. There will always be a Pikachu tier because Pikachu tier is Pokemon that lives in Pikachu's shadow. Honestly, if we got to Mimikyu, Mimikyu would be in here. All right, here we go. I actually love Volbeep. <laughs> yep, the band. Actually, they sound pretty good. Um, I forget what the actual names are. Um. Honestly, they're pretty cute. Honestly, I'd put them in A tier. We need it. We need to fill out A tier more. Roselia, Roselia Stone, Rosetta Stone, anime terms. You gotta stop to smell the flowers. And you know, honestly, it's it's a pretty cute flower. It, it I I like this Pokemon. It honestly reminds me of how I used to really like tulips and gardening as a kid. So therefore, it is a childhood memory Pokemon. Golfin, these nuts, therefore it got me. That is an A tier joke. Uh, sw I forget it. It probably wants me to swallow though. Therefore, it's also A tier. Uh, this is a piranha. And honestly, sometimes people on the internet can be internet piranhas. Therefore, it is a D tier because honestly, you chew on it. Sharpedo is a literal shark. It's Gagura as a Pokemon. Therefore, it's a S tier Pokemon. I have no fucking clue what they did to the shark. Like this is the Jaws three. Did, did the did the shark get tattoos? Is that why they did this? Uh. Did, I don't like that. I don't like that one. Wilmer is such a cute little spiracle. Honestly, that's an A-tier Pokemon. Um, whale Lord. Honestly, I could fucking eat a whale. I could eat that. Like, I'm not talking about, like, in pieces. I'm talking about I could swallow this fucker whole. Yes. Uh, Nummel is a camel and Camerupt. I like those. They they remind me of camels, and honestly, those are pretty cool animals. I always wanted to ride one. So you know, C for C tier. Camerupt erupt on these nuts. What the hell is this mega evolution? Like it's a volcano. Uh, you know what? Honestly, I can kind of respect that. Kind of A tier. Torkoal, I fucking loved this Pokemon. It reminds me of turtles. Unfortunately, it reminds me also of the Ninja Turtle movie because I can't ever look at a turtle the same way. Therefore, Torkoal is unfortunately a very much bullied me to your Pokemon. Now, Spoink is such a cool Pokemon that literally it has to keep moving, otherwise it dies. That is a hard-working Pokemon, and I can honestly respect that, so that's why it's going in the hard tier. And then it loses its orb, and all of a sudden it can live when it evolves into a bigger pig. You know, there's always a bigger fish, but still, C tier. 
Spinda these nuts into D tier. Now, the Flygon line. Here we go. Trampitch, honestly, like this design a lot. I think it's, it's such a derpy looking guy. It reminds me of a crab arm. And honestly, it makes me want seafood. And honestly, it makes me want to um, get seafood. Therefore, S in spicy tier. I don't really understand how it evolves into something super smaller than it. Uh, honestly, I have no opinion on this one. It's kind of just an R.I.D. But Flygon. Okay, Flygon. Flygon these nuts. I love Flygon. I think it's a really neat design. It's a badass Pokemon. And it honestly... It, it kills when going into, like, runs. You know, it's such a good Pokemon. However, it is my brother's favorite Pokemon. And I don't want to seem biased towards family. That just doesn't seem right to me. So, you know, honestly, it, it could have been S tier. It could have been S tier. But I got to give it to A because of the brother tax. I'm sorry, guys. I just I want to seem fair. I want to seem like a fair chicken nugget to you all. God, I actually need to take a second and drink some water. Holy crap. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, Cacnea. Honestly, I didn't have strong feelings for, but the Pokemon anime made me actually really start to like Cacnea a lot because it's just a he's just a happy little cactus. Honestly, he and James have such a good relationship, and he always wants to give James a hug, and he's so prickly, you know. And you know, you still give him a hug even though it hurts you. You know, that reminds me of all my past relationships, you know, where I still love all the people that hurt me. Therefore, honestly, S tier for, you know, the relatability. And this is just a scarecrow. So, you know, again, S tier. Swablu is such a cute little clown, which reminds me of the Cloudian creatures from Yu Gi Oh! Therefore, it loses some luster because honestly the Claudians were kind of a letdown, but you know, C tier. Alteria, honestly, cute ass bird, A tier. What the hell is the Mega Evolution? That's just. Oh, I thought that tail was a hand. You know what? Eh, eh, uh, uh, you know, I was gonna make a joke saying like it slaps asses, therefore it's like an S tier, but honestly, it's just not. Zangoose, I think, is basically Shadow the Hedgehog. Uh, if Zangoose is what Shadow the Hedgehog and Knuckles of the Kidna's baby would be like, and honestly, that idea excites me and terrifies me at the same time. Therefore, honestly, it's going in the childhood memories tier. Saviipa is a sneaky little snake. Honestly, it's got such a good snake design, and I can honestly respect the hell out of what those fangs can do to me. So, S tier. I see the moon, the moon sees me from C tier. I see the sun, it blinded me, oh my god. I am blind now. I have no opinion on this fish. I do like the one, the bigger Whiskash makes, you know, earthquakes, honestly. It's a pretty good design. Any Pokemon that represents a natural disaster is A tier in my book. Now, Crawdont. Wait. Is Crawdont the name of the pre evolution? I don't remember. But crabs can be good and bad. Good to eat, bad for your health. However, honestly, those both go kind of hand in hand with wanting to eat out, doesn't it? So therefore, crabs are going in the I'm gonna eat tier. Because you need to live a little. This is just a top. It reminds me of Beyblades. And honestly, I like Beyblades, but tops kind of scare me as a bottom as myself. Therefore, bullied me tier and same is gonna go in there. Cradley, oh my god, I actually liked these Pokemon a lot. They were my, because I played Sapphire first in Gen 3, so honestly, for childhood sake, childhood memories, they're going in childhood memories sake, because they're pretty good. I have no opinion on these whatsoever. Uh, however, my brother did use this one to bully me in particular, so you know what, that's, that's where it's gonna go. 
Feebass. Honestly, the story of the ugly duckling being the most beautiful in the world with Melodic is amazing. But I'm also going to be real, it is not a pretty fish. So it's a D tier. Melodic is way prettier. Honestly, S tier Pokemon. Cast form is pretty cool. Honestly, I like the idea of a Pokemon changing to weather. But honestly, I feel like it's a little unrealistic because I feel like it... First of all, the sun doesn't sprout more balls on us, and also when it gets wet, you shouldn't have more balls. They should probably shrink up. It's very unrealistic, and honestly, kind of ridiculous. So Cast Form is honestly just a C-tier Pokemon, and I'm just going to leave it at that. Kecleon! I fucking loved Kecleon in the Pokemon games. It's an invisible gecko. It reminds me of Randall from Monsters, Inc. And honestly, Steve Buscemi is a A-tier actor. So you know what? A-tier Pokemon. Oh god, Shuppet, Bennett. Okay, so I love ghosts. I don't care for puppets. However, honestly, this design is just so good, because honestly, how many times have you looked at your child and just wish you could just zip their lip for a little bit by, you know, having a little zipper there? It's very Coraline-esque, yes, but honestly, sometimes you just want some peace and quiet, and Bennett provides that for you. So you know what? I'm going to throw Bennett in A tier. And you know what? Um, I'm going to put the condom puppet Pokemon or the condom sheet Pokemon as A tier, because honestly, if Mormons can make it work, so can I. I have no opinion. I have no opinions on Bennett as a mega. I mean, it it looks cool. I just don't have an opinion on it. I'm gonna. I mean, it's a good design, so I'm gonna do that. Oh my god. Okay, Duskull. <sighs> Duskull was my first shiny Pokemon ever in my life. It, I found a red one just out of the blue. I didn't even know what shiny Pokemon were. I showed my brother. He didn't know either. So I just straight up killed it. In my original Pokemon Sapphire, I killed the ghost. And honestly, that still haunts me to this day. So therefore, is a childhood memory that still haunts me to this day. Dusclops is pretty cool, though, so, you know, I mean, it's C tier. Chaporus is literally has bananas on its neck. It's a long neck banana bastard. And honestly, who doesn't like a long neck bastard? I'm going to eat him. All right, Chimeco, honestly, I, I think it's cute. But honestly, wind chimes annoyed the hell out of me growing up. They sound cool to me now, but honestly, they can... Unless it's a good sounding one, honestly, they're just kind of annoying when you just want peace and quiet from, like, nature and stuff. So, honestly, um... Yeah, bully me, tier works. Absolutely is one of the coolest Pokemon. A tier, absolute zero. Oh my god, it's Mega Forms even cooler. Holy crap. Okay. Alright, why not? Why not be a better Pokemon? Honestly. It, it's cute, but I mean, it's just... It's just not. Snowrun, however, I fucking love Snowrun. It is such a happy little friend. Such a friend. A tier. It's, got, it's just an ice... It's a little ice pine cone. Wait, Pinecone. Ice Triangle. What the fuck? Isosceles Triangle. Hey, pun. I made a pun. Oh, I hate myself. Um, Glalie. Honestly, not. What the fuck? Glalie learned to unhinge its jaw like a snake? What the hell happened here? Uh. A, no, D tier for it's a snowball. Wait, no, no, that's too harsh. Honestly, it's it's a B tier. I, I'll put it in B tier. Um, this, however, um, I want to never see again. So, 
You know, uh, shiftry means shit tier to me, so we're just gonna put that in there. Spiel! It's literally a spee! It's a seal! Oh my gosh, it's a little pup! It's a little pup! It's an A tier pup! It's so damn cute! And then it gets a little blubber, and I wanna eat. Honestly, fucking. Listen. If I'm stuck on a desert island and there's only these ice seals, it is what it is, okay? You know? It is what it is. This is a clam. I eat clams of all kinds. Wink, wink. So therefore, I'm going to eat it. I have no opinions on this other than the fact that it kind of reminds me of cereal. So you know what? It is a cereal Pokemon. This is a cute little pink Pokemon that honestly I can get behind, however, if it didn't remind me of the fact that I'm stuck on a desert island. Uh, uh, I mean, it's a B tier, I guess. Relicant. Honestly, I like because of the mystery of needing him and a whale lord to go get the Reggies, so therefore it's a little bit higher on the list for me. Relicant, honestly, is... I'll put it... It's a B tier. It's B tier. It's, a B, it's an ancient fish. Love Disc. I love the idea of love. Apeit loves love. However, Apeit doesn't have any love. So you know what? Bullied me tier. Begone. Begone these nuts means B tier. I... I have no idea what the fuck to think about this one. I, it's, it's a very, it's a very weak design. It looks like it belongs with a D. So, you know, it's going with the D tier. Salamence is literally an epic, amazing dragon. Honestly, S tier, it's so freaking cool. It's an epic dragon. Um, but then just like the Aragon movies, it kind of just lost me towards the later end when it evolves again to whatever the hell this is. So D tier. Beldum, Batang, and Metagross honestly are pretty good, but they are just more Iron Golems, so they are going in the Minecraft tier. Same with its evolution. I honestly don't understand what the hell was going on with that one. Do, 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 do. Oh, and now with the Reggies, honestly. I like that boulder. It's a nice boulder. B tier. I do like myself a popsicle. Oh, oh, I, um. Actually, no, these go in Minecraft tier. They're their own special thing. These are literally just elemental Minecraft. Ah, yes. Okay, here we go. Gonna be banking on some nostalgia here. Lo okay, so I played Sapphire. Okay, so, ah. Latias is an adorable design and honestly one of my favorites from playing Sapphire. But, so, you know, S tier for stirring some really strange memories and feelings inside of me when they kissed Ash, when they kissed Ash in the movie. I'm afraid she might have awoken something in me and honestly, I'm not too upset about it. Uh, the Mega Versions, I mean... They're all right, I guess. They're, I mean, they're, I actually, you know what? The purple. Latios, I have no feelings for other than my brother had him. I honestly think so, A tier. Uh, however, it's also purple. So, you know what? It gets better in S tier. Kyogre! Okay, so actually, uh, hang on. Hang on, just want to... Okay, so just like being like just telling like a little serious or like a little fun story um, Hang on. I'm also gonna put back on the Pokemon lo-fi Kyogre I had I mean again Sapphire was like the one Pokemon game that I played a lot and like got completion I fucking loved this guy and as a kid, I, I always said his name wrong. I always said Kyogre. Because, I mean, you know, you, you don't know until you actually hear it said out loud. And I didn't watch the Pokemon anime uh, in, like, the Gen 3 era too much back then. So, Kyogre was how I pronounced it for so long. And honestly, 
he, I, I, there's always a bigger fish. I love that Pokemon. Kyogre. I know it's Kyogre. Kyogre, Kyogre. I mean, it, I'm saying it closer to how it's said. And honestly, uh, the Alpha Sapphire version is also S tier. It's like, it, it's just such a good Pokemon. Uh, Groudon, Groudon these nuts, is a good Pokemon. However, it's kind of stupid thinking it could take on Kyogre. Um, because literally it's stuck on a little land and therefore it loses. It's kind of a dunce to think that it can actually win that fight. Although the design of its awakened form does put it up into an A tier because of design wise, but still kind of a dumb Pokemon in terms of actually battling. And Rayquaza is such a good mom for getting their children to stop bickering. I can relate to that whenever my mom was actually able to do that, because my brother and I, we were Hellraisers. And honestly, I love Rayquaza a lot. And the Mega version? Honestly, even better. That is honestly super fucking cool. See, this is what I wish that fucking Sword and Shield monstrosity was more like. It, they could have done something cool like this. Instead, they made a fucking weird polygon dragon that just looks bleh. Jirachi is literally a baby. The star that I wished upon every single night to bring me super great dreams. However, I never got it with Pokemon Coliseum, which hurts me. Do, do, do. Razkiv1, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Hope you're having a fantastic Wednesday. And honestly, I love Jirachi. It's an S-tier Pokemon. I, I, I can't shit talk it. It's literal baby. It's a literal baby. Now, all right, we're down to the final Gen 3 Pokemon. Now, hey, how's it going? Deoxys is literally the best alien ripoff of Mewtwo and can shapeshift into many forms as you can see here that includes tentacles which would be perfect for me for the fact which honestly would be super perfect but honestly it would be perfect if it weren't for the fact I can never use him on the Game Boy Advance because I'm American and honestly Deoxys after all these years gets a special, special tier straight from my heart called the fuck you tier because I could never use Deoxys. Your movie was great, but maybe you should have been more accessible for us Americans. I'm doing fine. Uh, I'm just getting a little heated about my Gen 3 Pokemon choices, but you know, I'm actually feeling feeling pretty good about it. And just like that, you know, we are, we're good to go. All right, so from the top, we have the I'm going to eat them tier, the spicy tier of the many spices and flavors. The A, the B, the C, the D, the Minecraft tier, that honestly, they just are ripoffs and are made up of Minecraft materials. Childhood memories for Pokemon that honestly awaken old memories in me. The hard tier, because they are hard. The shiftry tier, because honestly, they're kind of shiftry and kind of shitty. And the bullied me tier from rather childhood memories or just in general. And the Pikachu cheer and the personal fuck you tier. Honestly, I think this is a pretty good tier list. I'm pretty proud of this. I might have made 2D hate me forever, but you know... I had a good time doing it. Okay, okay. All right. Well, you know, we're going to put up my chatting background again, and I'm going to save this, and I'm going to post this one to the Twitters as well. Come on. Give me my tier list image. But I'm glad to hear you're doing fine. Also, welcome, welcome. Do, 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 do. Honestly, we blew through both tier lists way faster than I thought we were going to. Holy crap, we haven't even streamed for two hours. 
Fuck, I talked a lot, too. I don't have much more in me. At least without... I need to get more water, at the very least. Damn. Okay, all right. Dot, 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 dot. Dot, 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 dot. You, what, you excited for dot hack chance? What is a chance? Are you hoping they're getting more dot hack remakes soon? You like those JRPGs? What is a chance? Tell me. Okay, all right, all right, let's do the Gen 3 list. <sighs> I don't wanna do, um, I don't want to do Gen 4 right now because I don't want... Because honestly, I feel like that should be its own um, thing. Also, just because I don't have too much like prepared for it. You're just here. <laughs> Fair enough, Chance. I appreciate it. Do Genshin characters? Ah. I would, but... Ah, I kind of want the Pokemon stuff to be just like in its own like stream. Unless I can, eh, maybe I could cut off the VODs. I guess I can move on to something else. Hang on, let me, let, let me, let me explore a little bit more of Tear Maker. You know what, actually, hang on. What if, what if there's a Pokemon movie tier? Is there a Pokemon movie tier list? Cause honestly, I did watch a lot of Pokemon movies. I could rank them. the hell is um oh yeah here we go pokemon movie ash and co introductions no there's got to be more movies than this oh boy here, you know, let me. I'm, I'm gonna keep finding uh, more Pokemon anime ones. Um, oh, here we go. Pokemon movie ranks. Uh. No. Oh, wow. They even include. Okay, you know what? Uh. All right, uh, yeah, let's just do this one. We're gonna do this one. Let's just do a Pokemon movie tier list real quick, you know, just to make the stream just a little bit longer. Okay, Pokemon movie tier list. All right, interesting enough. Okay, let's see. I'm also gonna add a tier for haven't seen because that's gonna be like half of these. Unfortunately. Okay, you know what? Let's put this back. D tier. Nope, go back down, go back down. Nope, okay, go up. All right, let's change the color of the D. Let's do red, there we go. Okay, so let's start off in order. Where, oh, the very Pokemon, the first movie. Honestly, I loved that movie growing up as a kid. I also love just how popular it got, like all the McDonald's toys, like the gold Mewtwo, like 
uh, like metal plates, honestly, was one of my favorite things. Um, honestly, it's a pretty... It's a pretty great movie, honestly, and I loved Mewtwo, so... Uh, do I want to put it in S tier, though? I mean... It was, you know, and... It was pretty enjoyable. I'm going to put an A tier. It might go up to S tier. Pokemon 2000. I I had a good time with Pokemon 2000, but I did not rewatch it that much. Uh, honestly, and I'm trying to remember a whole lot about it. I really don't remember a whole lot about it other than Ash skiing with like Team Rocket to get like the stones and like the pillars. I really don't remember a whole lot from Pokemon 2000. Honestly, it's kind of, it's kind of a B movie. However, the Entei movie, it's stupid i can admit it's stupid but i also love it it's one of my favorites because a pokemon is literally papa and honestly i think i rewatched pokemon 3 the most because honestly it, it was just a good movie the celebi one i liked this movie a lot i just haven't it's just been so long that i can't remember too much about it but like time travel always a good time haven't seen arceus haven't seen this uh rise of dark rai it was, it was all right. Honestly, it was, it was all right. It wasn't like anything special. Although actually, so <laughs> this is going to be embarrassing. Um, in middle school, we, we had this um, thing where, you know, when you introduce yourself, you bring a toy or your favorite movie from home. Just like some knickknacks to like, you know, get to know each other. Cause this is like sixth grade. I brought this fucking movie to a middle school middle school classroom full of kids that didn't really know me and said my favorite movie is pokemon you can imagine how that went for me destiny deoxys though i fucking love this movie s tier detective pikachu s tier haven't seen the god one this honestly detective pikachu is such a good pokemon movie well, actually, you know what? Hang on, hang on. That actually begs the question. Detective Pikachu is a good movie. Is it a good Pokemon movie, though? Because what is a Pokemon movie? Is it is it the standard of Ash going on a journey with the legendary Pokemons? Or is it just because of the fact that Pokemon are involved makes it a Pokemon movie? That is a question to think about. But honestly, I love Detective Pikachu a lot, so it's, it's staying in S tier. Is there at least a battle in it? Yeah, there's battle. There's battles in Detective Pikachu. Hell, um, in the arena. And then also towards the end during like the final. Yeah, there's battles in the movie. So honestly, S tier Pokemon movie. So I, I'd say, yeah, you know, I'd say it is. I'd say it is. Haven't seen Legend Awakened. Honestly, don't really want to. Haven't seen Shaman. Uh, the Pokemon Heroes movie. Honestly, the fact that Latios falls in love with Ash and gives us very confusing, awake, awakened feelings in us when we were young watching this movie about whether humans should be with Pokemon honestly makes it an S-tier Pokemon movie for me. Also, oh, shit! Oh, hi, Deviant! Hello! Thank you so much for the raid! I did not get notified about that! Um... Thanks! Thanks, Raid Alarm! Thank you so much for going off! Um, yeah, I'm just, uh, talking about Pokemon movies and not any weird, um, sexual awakenings that Pokemon may have given me when I was young. But hello! How you guys good doing? Welcome, welcome, Raiders! How you doing, Deviant? Hope, how's your stream? Actually, you know, hey, for anyone in my chat, please. Uh, eh. Let me get... Dot, do, underscore nails. Please go f check out Deviant Nails. They are amazing. Also, Matrix AM, thank you so much for the... Oh, hey, Matrix! I just realized who you... Oh, hey, buddy, how's it going? Thought it was a flying guess not? Oh, that's fair. 
Honestly, man, it's been a while. I mean, we talk sometimes on Twitter, but it's been a long ass time since you and I had a conversation. But hello, Matrix. Hope you're doing well. I hope your anime videos are taking off. I hope you've been doing pretty good, my friend. I try to catch one every now and then, but I mean, I'm only a chicken nugget. I can only keep up with so much content. Also, what a sentence to join a stream on. Fe yeah, yeah, yeah. This has been a little bit un. Little un Sir Health Scythe, thank you so much for the raid. Holy crap. Thank you so much for your raid. Hello, welcome, raiders. Holy crap. I'm getting a lot of. A lot of people in today. Sagejoy, thank you so much for the follow. Aww. Ooh. Oh, cookie. Is that a cookie butt emote or is that like a cookie heart? That emote looks like you're going to eat that cookie's ass, and I'm all for that. Double raid from Ghost Hunters. The Ghost Hunters Sim 2 are here to raid your stream. Oh my god, Sir Health, I thank you so much for the raid. It's a cookie heart. I mean, fair enough. Look, it, listen, it looks, it looks like, it looks like a, it looks like a delicious ass. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> oh my God, Impossibles. Thank you so much for the follow. Oh my God, you guys didn't have to double raid me. That's so fucking sweet. Oh, you guys, that, thank you so much. Oh, Impossibles! I love that! Oh my god! Yes, we did. Oh, you guys are so sweet! Oh my god, now I feel like I gotta do a Gen 4 tier list for Pokemon. Fuck, I might actually have to do that now. Alright, yeah, we're gonna be extending stream by a little bit. Oh my gosh. Um, oh, thank you. Oh. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Hang on, I'm trying to trying to type stuff out. Sir. Do do do. Sal Scythe. I'm terrible at spelling. Hopefully that did it. I misspelled the name. Of course I did. I was playing with them too. It was a stream, but I have my emotional support. Aw. Honestly, it's been so long since I played Phasmophobia. I hope you I hope you guys had a good time doing it. We gotta show some love to support and fellow streamers. Well, please go follow them. How, how can you put the first Pokemon moving anywhere but S tier? Listen. You listen. I love the first Pokemon movie. But is it the one I watched the most? No. Pokemon Movie 3 and Destiny Deoxys were the ones I watched the most. And Detective Pikachu made me laugh the most. It's still a good movie. I just don't... I just don't know. Change it. Change... You know what? Fine. Fine, Deviant, you get you get one change because you rated me. I mean, it's still a, it's still a good movie. It's still a good movie. Listen, I'm a streamer. I bend to chat's will. I haven't seen this one. Okay. However, the Pokemon I Choose You movie, I have not seen it. However, I have seen a clip from this movie where Pikachu speaks to Ash in a dying voice because he always wants to be with you, and that is a plus quality. Our streams were chaos, but funny. Wait, you have 2,000 in beats here? I'm sad. Listen, it's still a good movie, Miss Antics. It's just I didn't watch it that much growing up because honestly, I can't remember a damn thing about the movie other than there's the Slow King and Ash had to go out and find some balls to go put in some holes in order to please Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno. Also, hi, Misty. I hope you're having a fantastic Wednesday. How you doing? Weren't you playing Monster Hunter earlier? Have you seen uh, the, 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 the Lucari film? Oh, yeah, no. I, yeah, I'm going to do that. Have you seen the video inside a theater when Pikachu speaks and just hear someone yell, what the fuck? I saw a whole theater of doing that. That's the one I was obsessed with. The Ocarina song was top tier. Oh, my God, you're right. They played the ocarina in that movie. I completely forgot about that. You know what? Okay, that boosts it up a little bit. I like the music in that. Okay, all right. I haven't seen this one. The Lucario movie. Oh, God. I rem Okay. 
I don't remember much about the Lucario movie. I really don't. I, I enjoyed Lucario movie. Um, however, I do remember the drip. They were dripped as fuck in that movie. Therefore, that is definitely a A-tier Pokemon movie for the drip alone. And the songs from 2000. Honestly, yeah, that's fair. Um, Mewtwo Strikes Back. Um, it's kind of a C-tier sequel, I'm not going to lie. Hope you all having a good day. We hope, uh, yeah, I hope you all been having a good day. I, I, I. Oh yeah, no, no worries, Deviant. Yo, no, well, go take your time, go shower, please, Raiders. I appreciate you, appreciate you raiding me. But if you guys all need to go do your own thing, please feel free. Now, oh. Okay. This is a bad picture for this movie. It's the environmental Pokemon movie. I haven't seen this movie, but I want to give it props for literally from the scene that I've heard. It literally kills a Snubble in a fire on screen and is the reason why this lady hates Pokemon because her Snubble burned to death. That is A quality material right there that puts it in A tier. Ah, yes. The Pokemon Rangers Manaphy movie. Okay, I like this movie a lot. I mean, honestly, the plot wasn't great, but I love Manaphy, and honestly, I had a big crush on May growing up as a kid, therefore, I'm putting it higher than I actually probably should. Haven't seen this one. Haven't seen this one. Wishmaker. I think Wishmaker was also a pretty um, B movie. Honestly, it was pretty good. It's oh, wow, I put the three... The three uh, little mascot trio Pokemon in uh, B tier. Honestly, I really enjoyed the movie. It's just... I only watched it once. And I feel like that's not enough for me to really... I watched, like, give much of an opinion. Because I watched that movie when I was a kid. So I just don't remember. You know, and I haven't seen any of these. But I think it goes to show, at the very least, there is no D tier Pokemon movie to me. Because honestly, they're all rather average or are good and i think that's pretty that's pretty much what i feel about pokemon i don't think there's really a bad pokemon game that i have played that is rather okay or really good like i enjoyed sword and shield uh don't get me wrong they were not great pokemon games but i still enjoyed them Yeah, same nugget. I'll have to head off as now a streamer for virus starting to take its toll on me, so I'll be heading off now. Hope you have a good rest of your day. The Sea Temple Pokemon film was pretty good, too. Honestly, yeah, I mean, yeah, they're good movies. I think it goes to show that I don't think Pokemon has made a bad game, at least that I can think off at the top of my head. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, uh, this is. This is a decent tier list. I don't really care to... Eh, I'll save it. I mean, this is something I can post too, I guess. All right, let me put my chatting background up for a second. Yep, all right, there we go. All right. Well, let's see if we can find another tier list that we can do Pokemon related wise before we go. <laughs> Monster Girl book and Rem, nice nug. Ah! Oh my gosh, I can't believe I didn't tidy up for a raid. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, see. Um, well, you know, I was doing some late night reading with my wife over here while, you know, admiring, while, Bo while Bowser watches over me lustfully, you know, I mean. Oh, man. If Daddy Bowser were real. And, you know, sometimes I just like to think of... I like to... I place fake nuggets by the bed. That way I always remember how lucky I am to be bigger and sentient. And just, you know, just... Puts things in perspective, you know? And a Neander's mug because I'm a Neander simp. What can I say? Pokemon movie waifu tier list? What? Holy crap! There's a lot more people on this list than I thought. Uh, 
Okay, hang on. I, I just want to show... I wouldn't mind doing this, but like... Half the people's pictures are like cut off. <laughs> like... Oh wait, no, they, they come back down here. Okay, I guess there's just some bad pictures in here. All right. Uh, okay, sure, why not? Pokemon waifu tier list, I guess. Um, from the ones that I remember. Annabelle top waifu in the Pokemon. Um, let us see. What, she ain't there? Honestly, I don't, I, I don't think I could do this tier list. I don't even know half these fucking characters. Because, like, I, I know I know this gal because she has Latias transform. I remember the twin. Oh, that's right. There were there were some sexy evil twins in the Pokemon Heroes movie. Fuck, I forgot about that. Um. Yeah, no, I can't I can't do this tier list. I don't know these characters. Oh, the professor that broke Brock. Honestly, okay, you know what? Let's just real quick. Um, she broke Brock S tier. I wish she would break me. Um, because I'm also hard as a rock and need to be broken by her. Moving on. Um, do 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 do. Okay, okay. Fucking Lego movie. Like, what the fuck? These aren't Pokemon. Booby-eyed Pokemon? What? The first Pokemon tier list of booby-eyed Pokemon. Round eyes, white, and dotted people, black. Booby-eyed Pokemon like Crabbler or Slackoff don't count. So... Are we... Are we ranking the best boobies then? Okay, what Pokemon has the best tits? I... Pfft, this is such a weird tier list. Badoof. <laughs> okay, I appreciate that. Badoof's its own tier. Um, core fish. I mean, yeah. I can see that. Core fish does have a nice pair on them. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, that, that, yeah, that, that's an S tier. Ghastly, that's literally the most spherical, booby-eyed Pokemon. Oh, I guess there's Tangela, too. Okay, listen. When it comes to shape and volume, when it comes to the boobies, I think Ghastly has probably the most actual-looking booby-eyed there are. So, Ghastly is actually probably the top one contender here for the most looking boobied Pokemon. And Slugman these nuts gets an automatic pass because of that joke. Beer Barrel gets in Bidoof. Uh, Jinx, I D tier because I don't like Jinx. Magikarp. Honestly, this is just such a fucking weird tier list. I, 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 honestly, I, I just have no opinion on this. Uh, I mean, I could go do Gen 4 Pokemon, but I was, I don't know. It's already 310. I could probably just call stream here in just like a little, in a couple minutes, just so I can move on for the day and save Gen 4 for another day. You know, let's just let's just search Pokemon stuff in general cuz I'm very curious what other kind of Pokemon tier lists there are on here. God, I hate these stupid ads that keep popping up. Gender and alternate form differences. Oh yeah, that is true. 
Pokemon waifus, they're actually Pokemon. Umbreon's a waifu? Huh? Okay, ditto, I, I, I get it, but... Fucking Miltank. Okay. All right, you know what? I think I've seen enough tier lists for one day. I'm done for today. I'm done with tier lists. Oh, my God. Well, I, as usual, I hope you guys um, enjoyed today's stream. Uh, it was kind of chaotic. I purposely um, said some interesting opinions when it comes to Pokemon. But, you know, honestly... They're my tier list, and I can do what I want. Uh, but yeah, no, honestly, I've been in a very Pokemon mood lately because also I'm really trying to gear up to get a Pokemon Nuzlocke started. I just need to, uh, I also want it to be a randomizer, so I'm still trying to sort out all that stuff before I get that going. Uh, so hopefully I'll be able to get that started soon. I'm probably thinking in Pokemon Sapphire or like one of the Gen 3s because honestly that's like my favorite Gen. Gen 3 was the Pokemon I grew up with. But yeah, no, I think, uh, I think I'm gonna call it for today. I'm out of water as it is. I'd have to go downstairs. You know, and that's, that's going down the stairs. That's a lot. That's a lot of work for little old me. I barely have chicken legs. Okay, let's see here. Um. All right, so I'm gonna actually send a raid off to a backyard barbecue. You guys can go talk and hang out with Papa Mutt. They are a cool, they're a cool, doggo um but anyway i'm going to probably just call it here i really appreciate everything actually you know before we go i want to give a big shout out to yanzel cal raskavav one matrix am zagzoid sir helsoid and possibles i love that name for the follows and a big extra shout out to both deviant nails and sir helsoid for the raid you guys are awesome i super freaking appreciate that seriously that that made my day oh my god today's stream was a lot of fun i hope i didn't piss off too many people with my pokemon choices but again like i said it's it's all in good fun i'm trying to be more of myself more of a little jokester i'm the joker baby for streams so you know honestly i hope things go well um I will be back on Friday for a Yu-Gi-Oh! Smasher Pass, which I am looking forward to it. I invited the lovely Chance VTuber to actually help me with that, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Same time, same Chicken Nugget channel. Uh, also, real quick, please go check out Miss Antics. I'm sure everyone here already knows them. But anyway, the raid's about to go, so I will see you guys on Friday. Goodbye, chat. I love you all. Goodbye. Bye. Have a good one.